Welcome back to Wasteland 2. I've just resolved the Topekan Atchison conflict. So now it's time to wrap up my loose threads in and around the Rail Nomads camp. I'm just going to visit the key players of the conflict and see if they have anything new to say now that it's resolved. So let's go speak to Melissa, see if she has something new to say. They let me cut my husband down. I've buried him at last. Thank you, Rangers. No problem. Looks like they're all happy. Is the uh, brake shoe still there? <laughs> okay. So the brake shoe is still there, even though the brake shoe was already given to the the, uh, the rail nomads. Oh, and there's Jesse. Alfie's dead. What is there to live for? Oh, right. Um. You're welcome for saving you. And I'm sorry I couldn't save your drowning boyfriend. <clears throat> so yeah, even though the brake shoe has already been given, it is still here for some reason. I guess that's what happens if you blow this thing up before the quest hits that stage. Well, regardless, there's no point in taking it. Let's go see Casey James. Rangers, good to see you. It kills me that we were so blind about how to make peace. And I thank you again for all you did to make it happen. Everything is so much better now. And us and the Topekans should have the train up and running again in no time. Well, I hope one day I can ride it. You probably don't want to talk to me, do you? Nope. Fair enough. Okay, a couple more things to do around here. I'm going to go speak to Kekaba, see if he has something new to say, so I'll be right back. Let's go speak with Kekaba. The Peacemakers? It's a good thing to be called. I only wish you had convinced us to make peace long ago, Rangers. The strides we Topekans and Atchisons are making now, that we are working together again. It makes me weep for all those lost years. Thank you again. Now, anything we can help you with? Apparently not. Um, you could give us a fat stack of monies. Okay. Alright, a couple more things to do. I did notice something on the train out here next to the engineer. I don't think it's anything too significant, but I want to go check it out. There's a little panel on the side here. Let's see what that is. Oh yeah, Let's see if the engineer himself has something new to say. I would have thought we'd make peace with those Atchisons, but thanks to you it's going great. Such a relief. Alright, what is this? This button operates the train whistle. Ooh, can I press it? <laughs> Having fun with the train whistle, the engineer says. Yep, it does the same thing every time. They train Desert Rangers to be this annoying? Ain't no way you got there on your own. <laughs> I dare you to blow that whistle one more time. Okay, I'm gonna save my game, and then I'm gonna blow it one more time. <laughs> Pull that calf's tail one more time, and I'll burn you down where you stand. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Did I just make all of the Tobekans mad at me? Uh, no, I think it's just the engineer. Okay. I, no, I'm not gonna kill him. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Alright. I love that when something like that happens, you can kind of, you can rest assured that it really is going to do what you think it would do. Because for a second I thought, if I keep pressing it, maybe I'm just going to start seeing the dialogue repeat at some point, right? Because that's how it would probably be in a lot of games. 
But no, they like to go a step further and make it so, you know, if you start annoying a dude, and he says you pull it one more time and he'll kill you, well, you pull it one more time and he actually wants to fucking kill you. I like that. Ooh, can I get my rat back? Ready! No? Can't talk to the rat? Can't use my whistle on it anymore? No? <laughs> One time use, I guess. Okay, uh, two more things to do, I believe. So one is I actually have a quest. Follow Scotchmo's nose to a secret stash of squeezins. He'll smell it when we're close. So I want to go find that. We came from here, right? I think it's this way. I'm picking up a vapor trail. Is, isn't this just where we came from? I mean, where he came from? Did you bury it here? This is where I buried a live tortoise. I'm pretty sure if it was here, he would have already mentioned it when we first got him. No, no, I remember I went this way and he said he did not smell it, so I think it's just somewhere this way. Watch, it'll probably show up again. Or not. Damn it, use your nose, Scotchmo. I don't even know why I care about the damn squeezins. Who gives a damn? Alright, well, I'm gonna try to find it and I'll be right back. Oh, here we go. Getting close, but we gotta be careful. This is junky territory. I thought it would be somewhere dirty and full of no good people. It's alright, though. I already murdered these people. I mean, willfully defended myself. Lawfully defended myself. Yeah, you know what? Let's go check on this guy. This is where the guy that wanted the mushrooms is or was. But I did send Kekaba's men to go deal with him, so I'm guessing he's probably... ...dead? Or... Um... Either he just left his sack there, or that's his loot, and he died. Meth pipes. <laughs> Crushed can. And pain relievers. You know, I can't help but feel that by having these things on me, if somebody searched me and, you know, patted me down, they might look unfavorably upon the fact that I have tons of drugs in my pockets. Uh, but... I'll take them. Just gonna sell them. The pain relievers especially are useful for the doc. Although I'm guessing you'd probably appreciate it more if I actually just found a cure for cancer. Probably better than pain relievers. Which, you know, right after I leave the Real Nomads camp, I could go to Dar Darwin Village, but... I'm pretty sure... I mean... It's full of radiation, right? Or at least from what I've heard, it was... It was full of radiation, it probably still is. So I'm guessing I probably need a stronger radiation suit to protect myself, and I probably need to be higher level too. Plus, I need to go back to the Ranger Citadel, and I need to sell my stuff, and... Like, I'm getting overburdened, I'm full of loot. Yeah, I, I kind of just need to manage my inventory, so I don't think I can go to any new area yet. Alright. Well, Scotch Bell. Where is it? Oh, it's this way. It's up here. I can practically taste it. My stash is definitely here. Who's got the shovel? Dig where? Oh, there it is. Damn, we got a lot of XP for that. Well, 
Well, damn, that's a lot of snake squeezins. Give it all scotch mo. That might be a terrible idea. Actually, it probably is. Okay, I'll put the last one for... Give, give the last one to someone else. Did I complete the quest? Did it? Should've. Yep, looks like it did. Because I've heard... I think it was maybe during one of the tip screens. It said something like... There's certain items that party members will not want to give up. So I'm thinking maybe by giving him snake squeezins, maybe he won't want to give that up because he's a drunkard and he doesn't want to part with his stash. Like, let me try. Let's try giving this to Vulture's Cry. Oh no, okay, he parts with it. That's surprising. Well, in that case, you can have it all. Okay, one more thing to do. Okay, final thing I can think of to do. Go speak with Anna. Who I think wanted to have sex with all of us. But I didn't want to get involved in that because I was worried it would ruin the whole I want to resolve the conflict between the Topekins and the Atchinsons. But now that that's resolved, who cares? Although before you were in bed and now you're out of the bed and you have like a horrible weapon in your hand, so I'm kind of scared. Rangers, I heard you helped our people make peace. Thank you. I also wanted to thank you. Hearing that the Atchisons and the Topekans have stopped fighting made me realize that I too could change. I'm done selling my body for scrap. I'm going to take my savings and start a new life. Oh, Fletcher's Cry has received Anna's Eagle Feather. It's not much, but please take the small token. Whenever I was in need, it always brought John Henry's grace upon me. Oh, no problem. Lower chance to hit, greater chance to evade. Okay, so it's the opposite of Helen's white death, sort of. Lower chance to evade, greater chance to hit. Lower chance to hit, greater chance to evade. So this is good for... Who? Who is this good for? I guess it's kind of good for non-combat characters. People who you don't really want to hit because it doesn't even really matter. Like Theodore. Thing is though, he already has the plus one leadership, which I'm certainly not going to part with. So... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use those. But thank you. It has sentimental value. Time for a couple levels up. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo One. Still need to spend the attribute points. Not going to do that yet. Okay. He's already really good with assault rifles. Six is a damn good skill, so I'm going to do something else. Lockpicking or computer science. Harper's got a lot of skill points. I think it's, he has a high intelligence, doesn't he? Yeah, that's why. The high intelligence. Hmm. I feel like I haven't used computer science very much, whereas lockpicking is pretty common. So let's do lockpicking. And they have two points. Not going to spend yours. Three points. Won't spend yours. Who else leveled up? Was it Helen? Four points. I can definitely spend yours. Was I? I think I was maybe saving hers because I wasn't sure what to do with it. I don't remember. I haven't had a chance to use energy weapons yet because I haven't really faced any strong opponents. But if I do, I'm really going to want the energy weapon skill. And five shotgun and five demolition is already pretty good, so I'm actually going to upgrade her energy weapon skill. You. Hmm. 
almost never use brute force. It just seems like it's a nearly useless skill. I'll save your points for now. Alright, spin on your sniper rifle. Okay, we're good. Man, I've spent so long here, it feels... sad to leave. But I think it's... finally time to leave Rail Nomads Camp. Just think of all the good memories. Right here is where that guy was bleeding to death. And I made him bleed even more when Theodore failed at his surgery. This is the spot where I blew up the gate. Hmm. Ah, oh, do you smell that? That's a putrid lake. Right next to this is where Ralphie died. Thanks to my incompetent saving abilities. Good times. Oh, what the hell? I missed one of the very first dirt clods. Maybe that's part one of John Henry's story. Nope. There's a sign I irresponsibly decided to read while Ralphie was drowning. Whoa. Who the hell are you? Oh, Chisel, right. The dude everybody knows. Of course. The legendary Chisel. I'm a boss made peace with... Oh, okay. You can arrest me now? I'll come quietly. Uh... Why would we want to arrest you? God damn it! I'm Aiden the Chisel. Bomosidabo. I'm the baddest man in the wastes. I eat rattlesnakes for breakfast and pick my teeth with their bones. I got a list of priors a mile long. I've killed more men than smallpox, and I... I'm really tired of living in a yurt. Please arrest me. I'll do anything to get out of this dusty flea pit. Just give me three hots and a cot, and I'll be the best inmate you've ever had. Okay, Boma Sidabo, your life of crime is over. You're coming with us. It's the big house for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I mean, dirty coppers. They'll never make it stick, see? Ain't no bars can hold Aiden the Chisel Boma Sidabo. Boma Sidabo. This is a new screen. <laughs> so to arrest him, we have to actually put him in our party. Yeah, the only problem is I don't... I have room, so I have to dismiss somebody. I think... If I decline him, I think he maybe... goes back to the Citadel anyway. Like, you don't lose the party members forever. Like, if I dismiss Vulture's Cry, for example, I'm pretty sure she's just gonna go back to the Citadel and wait for me. However, by far the most useless person here is Scotchmo, so I'm just going to dismiss him. Inventory items will be transferred to Harper Overton. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> He's going to be really overloaded. I didn't actually look at your stats. You're super strong, high coordination, low everything else. Except speed. Okay. And your main item is a crowbar, so you're a melee dude. Yeah, blunt weapons, high skill. Okay, Scotchmo, please tell me you're gonna come back with us. Hey, Scotchmo. Alright, maybe once I leave the map, you'll automatically go back to the Citadel or something. AP do you have? I don't know. Mm, it's time to finally leave the Rail Nomads camp. So I was never able to figure out that damn message. The Engineer's Note. The Swing Gun Dig. 
don't know. Nor could I figure out the whole armor thing. I don't remember the name of the armor. I keep forgetting it. But that one dead guy left notes about this armor that he was searching for. And there's some mention of it when I went over to where the Provost was found, but... I don't know. Just can't find anything else about that... About those two things to follow up on. I'm just out of ideas. Oh well. It's a big-ass game. There's always going to be a lot of stuff I have not explored and will never solve. It's fine. It is definitely time to return to the damn Citadel and sell my stuff and buy some stuff and manage my inventory. There's a lot to do. I need to give Ace's Star to uh, Vargas. I need to give the new logbook and the new the new Ranger Star that I found to Vargas. S sell my uh, spare Able weapon one parts. Citadel base. And... Go ahead, Able One. Ten four Citadel base intercepted Raider transmission. Jerks are about to jump somebody. We're moving in. Copy, Able One. What's your 20? Two clicks east southeast of Corn Silo. Got it. You need backup? Negative. Punks won't know what hit them. Don't get cocky, Able One. Advise when complete. Will do, Citadel Base. Able One out. So again, Darwin Village is to the east, but I do not think I'm equipped enough to do that. Yeah, let's just work my way back to the Ranger Citadel. Which way did I take? I didn't... No, I went around here to the left. Raiders coming. Let's try to run. Screw them. Yay, success. Again? Okay, <laughs> I think maybe they should tone down the amount of random encounters. Oh, for the love of God. Unsuccessful. It was bound to happen. Is anybody loaded up, actually? Okay, these guys aren't too bad. They're not super easy, not super hard. They're pretty much our level. Got around 100 hit points. Decent weapons. Let's go for the gun guy first. Is the headshot worth it? No. Hmm. You know, I hope they put in something that makes it that if, if you're shooting over, like over the shoulder or over the heads of someone who's in front of you, but they're crouched, there's less of a chance, or maybe no chance, for friendly fire. Because there shouldn't be. I mean, you know, Helen is, yeah, she's ducked down. She's pretty, com Angela's pretty comfortably firing over her. Why is it they're always left at one fucking hit point? It drives me nuts. Okay, now you need to move. Let's get a little bit of distance. Okay, much better. Can I burst? I think I can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. This is not a good situation for a shotgun. Okay, let's test out your crowbar skills. Do you have another weapon? Nope. Damn! 50 damage! Oh, that was a crit.
You're a terrible shot. Ah, there's no need to burst. It's a terrible chance to hit. Crouch and ambush. Alright, we need to move up on you. high ground and some flanking opportunities for next turn although I don't think he's gonna live to next turn actually no he will probably yeah it's just the ambush I think he's gonna try to run because Angel's right there with a very scary weapon in his face yeah I think he's gonna run this way so let's just ambush Yep. <laughs> what if you ever find special stuff on these maps, like things you can dig up? Doesn't seem like it. Looks like Theodore leveled up. Nope, run away. Oh, for the love of God. They... <laughs> They really should tweak it so the random encounters are less frequent. This makes me want to have somebody in my crew who has an outdoorsman skill. Uh, why would rangers be that close to the ranger citadel? Idiots. This makes me really want to have somebody in my party with outdoorsman skill, even though... Not because it's a useful skill, tactically speaking. It doesn't really matter, but more just to save me from the annoyance of having to deal with all those damn conflicts. And that's not a good thing. You, I shouldn't want a skill because it saves me from having to do annoying stuff. That's not good. I mean, it's kind of like buying a... Like getting a, I don't know, a booster in an MMO kind of game. It's like, yeah, it's so much better. I level so much faster. So he's like, yeah, you're you're paying to get away from Able the grind, which is the main game. Base. Like what? Go ahead, Evil One. Call complete. Ten four. Grade is neutralized. No major damage on our side. Resuming patrol. Ten four, Able One. Carry on. Roger, Citadel Base. Able One out. Welcome back, Team Echo. You're here for bringing peace to Rail Nomads. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you make it back to Hype, we'll throw your weight behind Kate. She'd be a badass mayor. Where's the Husko? The hell's Husko? Okay. Whew, there's a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, let's level up. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations! I can spend your skill points just yet. Okay, so let's see if I have any artifacts to give to the museum. Can't believe you got the choo choo drivers and the spike pounders to shake hands. This one will go down in the history books. Alright. Found anything for me? Yes, I do have a couple things. 
Oh, that's what that's where Ace's Ranger Star goes. I thought it would go to Vargas, but no, it goes in the museum. It does deserve a spot in the museum. That's damn sad. But we're truly fortunate you found it, children. I'll add it to the collection. It'll help remind us of the sacrifices the Desert Rangers sometimes have to make to keep the Wasteland safe. Thank you, Rangers. Also, we found a book that seems to be about android intelligence. Do you want it? Oh, would you look at that. I'd love to add it to our library. It's supposed to be one of the best books written about what it means to be human. Artificial humans, AI tests, mood-altering gizmos. All before any of that was actually invented. This copy's in great condition, too. I know what I'll be reading when I get off duty tonight. I'm happy to compensate you for the work of bringing this back. I have a scrap budget I could pay you off of, or I can make a report to the General to make sure you get an accelerated promotion merit. Get you to the next rank a little sooner. Scrap or merit? Hmm. Money. 25 scrap. <laughs> That's terrible. But thank you. Okay, anything new to say to you? Nope, no new map data. Right. Drugs! I bring drugs. We found some pills. Pills here. Peels here. I'll take them. Let's trade. Okay. Oh, right. He doesn't... Uh, yeah, you just kind of sell it to him and he gives you much more than you would normally get for them. Yes. I don't suppose Chisel is a good barter. Nope, nobody has any damn barter skill. Oh well. God, to think, I mean, look at how long I spent in the Rail Nomads camp. And I'm still freaking poor. I think it's mostly just because I didn't sell any of the things I got, though. Alright. I think that's it. Oh, no, there's some. Okay, 300 for all those pain relievers, hell yeah. Oh, Vulture Scribes received the History of the Desert Rangers, Part 4. I haven't even read any of the other parts. <laughs> I think that's probably enough pills to hold me over till I die. Thanks. Here, I think you might enjoy this. Meaning to return it to the library anyway. Alright. Yeah, I don't actually need any supplies. Well, I do think I'm out of sutures, actually. To cure bleeding effects, but whatever. Who cares? I'll care when I'm bleeding, but I don't care right now. Another thing to do is sell weapon scrap. To the dude over here. Actually, let's go see Vargas. Where is Vargas? I don't actually remember where Vargas is. He's not up here. Where's Vargas? I totally forgot where Vargas is. Oh, I think it's in here. Yes, there we go. Whoa, lots of people talking. Welcome back, damn fine work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Still here, Wait. 
Is that a damn dog collar you're wearing? Fucking rookies. What do you need? <laughs> I guess he doesn't like the fact that uh, I think it's Yulia that's wearing the dog collar. Oh, shut up. It gives me more badass skill or whatever it does. We found Ace's logbook, sir. Hold on, Rangers. Let me see it. Hmm. This last bit is interesting. All these names and places. I heard a few of them when Woodson played me the transmissions. At least, I think that's what I heard. The static was terrible. Anyway, I'm afraid the names don't mean much to me. But some of the places sound familiar. I just can't... Listen. Check with Gilbert Segara, our cartographer. He may recognize him, and be able to use him to figure out where the transmissions are coming from. Okay. We found this badge on a dead body in Rail Nomad, sir. Let me see that. Should be some initials scratched into the back. Damn. HR Hellraiser. I was afraid of this. Hadn't heard from him in weeks. He'd been chasing down those radio signals, too. Anything else on the body? His logbook? Yeah, we found his logbook, sir. Let me have a look. Yep, this is how this is Razor's, all right. Let's see what he's up to. Hmm. Metal Monk, Plague, Darwin. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it means. Metal Monk. Could that be the robot that killed Ace, sir? Could be. Or another one like it. Looks like it might have killed Hellraiser, too. What do you think he meant by plague, sir? Well, combined with the word Darwin, it's making me think that this damned monk was looking to recover some of Finster's old research from Darwin Village. Finster was working on all sorts of bioweapons. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he brewed up some sort of plague, and if this metal monk is after it. And if this metal monk is after it, we've got trouble. I know you got a lot of other things on your plate, but this could be important. I'm marking Darwin on your map, and I'd appreciate it if you swung up that way and had a look look around. Looks like someone's already marked it on your map. I can usually tell Sergeant Cigar's writing by how neat it is. Angela's is about as orderly as you'd expect. Have you been to Darwin, sir? Yep, Darwin Village. Used to be a research facility run by a crazed android named Finster. Went nuts and started making monsters. Yep, okay, I already remember that. Alright. Go speak to Sagara. You have new map data for me? Let me see it. Vargas asked us to show you Ace's logbook. It has a list of places mentioned in the transmissions. Let me see that list. Hmm. Some of these... Well, Mount Lee, Santa Fe, Yucca... These are all Arizona or Colorado names. But they're all over the map. North, south, east, west. They don't really point to one central area. I couldn't tell you where to start looking. Let me hold let me hold on to this and dig into my old books. Maybe there's some other area that has all these names. I'll get back to you on it. Ah, praise from him. From Thrasher. Any praise from Thrasher is high praise indeed. You proved yourselves true. True rangers and rail nomad recruits. I would have thought making peace between the Atchisons and Topekans was impossible, but you did it. A great achievement. Thank you. Pretty proud of myself, too. Okay, um... Now I need to manage a bunch of other stuff. I do need to sell all my weapon scrap to this dude, but before that, I think I need to process my weapons. By using my weapons smithing skill and breaking them apart. I guess. Uh, hold on, let's see what the weapon scrap goes for. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh my god. This stuff looks beautiful. M16? You have another M16? Oh, I need to buy that. It's gonna cost me all my damn money, but I need to buy it. Okay, weapon scrap. This dude's freaking rich. 5,800. Seven hundred? Oh, holy shit. Okay, weapon parts are worth a lot to this dude. Okay, um... But, is it worth more to sell the original weapon or the scraps from the weapon? That's the question I need to answer. Okay, this I'm going to test on these, these revolvers. It's worth 126. Yeah, so it's worth 126 on its own. Let's test this out. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be arresting this guy, right? Or something. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, very good chance of junk weapon parts, which might be a good thing. Okay, so six broken weapon parts. So are six broken weapon parts worth more than 126, which is what I would get from selling the original weapon? That is the question. No, it is not. So it is actually even selling to this dude who gives me a premium price for weapon parts. It's still better to sell the original weapon. So in other words, unless I want the upgrades from the weapons, there's no reason for me to break them down. I should just sell them. Because I'll get more for it. Yeah. And I've already stripped down so many weapons, I don't... I think I need any more upgrades, do I? I need to install more upgrades on people's weapons, but I don't want to do that until I've actually bought new weapons for people, because a lot of people are using older weapons that I don't want to bother upgrading. <laughs> okay, well, I have a million things to sell, lots of weapons to process, so I'm going to get to that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just spent literally about a half hour managing everything. That was exhausting, but now I'm feeling pretty good about my whole party and their stats and their weapons and their equipment and all of that. Before I go over exactly what I did, um, let me go talk to the cook guy. Yes, I knew Scotch Mode would be in here. Okay. Thank you for me, thanking me for what I did between the Topekins and the Atchisons. Thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, right. Your name is Hungerford. <laughs> um, we were supposed to talk to somebody about recruits. Oh, it was you, wasn't it, Hako? Yes. Volunteers. Found a possible recruit. Well, many of them. Can we get credit for letting Angela into our team? Oh, right, she's already part of them. <laughs> right. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, we got another one. Her name is Vulture's Cry. She was in a little trouble at High Pool before... She was in a little trouble at High Pool before we, me, helped her out. Interesting way to put it, but yes. Okay, fitting just fine. What type of enlistment bonus would you prefer? I'm actually doing pretty good on scrap, so let's take Merit. Alright, his name is Chisel. He's an ex-bodyguard we met at the Rail Nomads camp. By the way, you should arrest him, apparently. Well, it certainly looks like he's had years of experience. Alright, fine. We'll take him. Type of enlistment bonus, Merit. Scotchmo. He's a hobo, but he's always wanted to be a ranger. Well, at least he's got the right motivation. 
And he only smells a little bit worse than Bechowski. We'll take him. Merit. Alright. That's all dealt with. Who would I prefer? Scotchmo or... Chisel? I don't actually know. He might be able to do a lot of damage with this damn crowbar. I'll try him out. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with Chisel for now. Okay, so let's go over the changes. I sold a shit ton of stuff, which took me from around 500 scrap to about 3,500. Now at the moment... Where do you actually see how much scrap you have? Oh, it's here. Yeah, so I went up to about 3,500, and then I bought a bunch of stuff and went down to about 1,800. So I bought two or three weapons, a little bit of ammo, and two pieces of armor. So, first weapon I bought was another M16. Unfortunately, they only had one more, or I would have bought two of them. But yes, I replaced Harper's... Harper's HK-33 with an M16. I also bought a sniper rifle. I bought the Bullpup sniper rifle, which was actually there last time, and I thought about buying it before, but what kept me from buying it is the low range. Its range by default is 23, whereas our old weapon had a range of 30, I think? But, I don't know, I, I think it's probably going to end up being better. I don't think the range is going to be that big of a deal. Especially since I applied the small scope upgrade, which gave it three more meters. So it went from 23 to 26. It just does so much more damage. It does way more damage, like two-thirds more damage. Better crit, better armor penetration, less AP cost. It's just better in every way except range. So, yeah, I think it's going to be worth it. I also installed the high-capacity mag to it, so less chance to jam and much more capacity, which is especially important for a sniper rifle, because uh, if you reload with a sniper rifle, that there goes your entire turn, which really blows. There's that. Couldn't find a better weapon for Theodore. Not that he needs one, because he sucks. Same with Yulia. Couldn't find anything better. Couldn't find a better energy weapon or a better shotgun. Angel is the same, Vulture Scry is the same. Um, yeah, so those are the... What was that, two weapons? Yeah, the two weapons that I bought. The M16 and the Bullpup Sniper Rifle. I also installed a bunch of mods. Like, I took Vulture's Cry and installed a small scope and a sturdy mag. Installed a sturdy mag to Theodore's HK-33. Installed grip tape on Chisel's crowbar, which makes it take one less AP per attack which might allow him to attack a hell of a lot more. So yeah, a couple new weapons, a bunch of mods installed on a bunch of stuff. Looking pretty good. The two pieces of armor I bought were the tactical vest, which is pretty expensive. I think it was like 700 scrap for each one. And basically these are the kind of the types of armor that don't require any strength requirements and doesn't impact your movement speed at all in combat. So it's the cheap all-purpose armor. Well, not cheap, but you know what I mean. The old stuff I had before was the leather jacket. Same sort of thing, no impact on your movement speed, but it's only two armor, so this is the higher end stuff, four armor. Got two of these. Gave one to Harper. Gave Harper's old one to Helen. Um, I gave the other tactical vest to Yulia, because I think she needs it the most, because she's a shotgunner, so she's going to be up close and personal, and gave her old one to Theodore. Angela doesn't have one, because she's level 17 and doesn't need it. Yeah, Vulture's Cry doesn't have one, don't think she needs it, because she's a sniper, she's in the back. And a chisel already came with steel plate armor. There's that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I spent their skill points. I... Did I spend any on you? I don't think I spent any on you. I don't actually remember what the hell I spent the skill points on. Oh, I know I increased Theodore's leadership skill. Yep. I increased Angela's hard-ass skill. I don't know if I did anything with her or him. I also spent the attribute points, which I was holding off on doing. So let's see, what did I do? 
I don't remember exactly, but I think I increased the awareness of Harper. Which gave him a little bit more combat initiative. That's the main thing. A little, it also gives you a little bit more vision range and a little bit more evade chance, but mainly it's about the combat initiative. Because his intelligence is already pretty high, and going from 6 to 7 intelligence doesn't really seem to do much of anything. It's... Like, his current intelligence seems to be at sort of a sweet spot, and if you go one more, it doesn't really do much. I mean, you can see here, if I mouse over this, it doesn't even list anything. It doesn't list any upgrades, because if you go to 7, it doesn't actually seem to do anything. But if you go to the next one, then it gives you one more skill point per level and one more action point. But going from 6 to 7 does pretty much nothing. So, seemed like a waste. So I went with Awareness. With Helen, um, I think I went with Intelligence, maybe. I actually went with Intelligence for a lot of them. I went with Charisma for Theodore. Since he is kind of my dump stat kind of leader dude, I'm, I'm not worrying about his combat skills. I just want him for talking and for recruiting people and making sure everybody in the party has a good chance to hit with his leadership bonuses and whatnot. And yeah, for a lot of people, I gave them intelligence. Because they were not in the sweet spot of intelligence, so if I gave them one more intelligence, it actually will give them one more skill point per level. So a lot of my people are actually going to get much more skill points. Which is good. And yeah, that's about it. Cleared out everybody's inventory, as you can see. Nice and clean and ready to receive more loot. Apparently Chisel has his own privately owned jar of pickles. Nothing can open this jar of pickles. <laughs> we'll see about that. I take that as a challenge. I will open that jar of pickles. One day. Also stored a bunch of stuff that I don't intend to use anytime soon in this thing. Lots of floppy disks which have sentimental value. Family photo of Ralphie and his mother, who I... First one I failed to save, and the mother I killed in self-defense, to be fair to myself. And yeah, a bunch of stuff that seems neat, but I didn't want to sell. Even though I don't have any particular use for it. This old computer thing, broken camera, a bunch of notes, memories of my time in the Rangers, which I haven't read yet. The Provost's weird symbol, um, all of these old like game consoles and stuff I didn't want to sell because they just seemed kind of cool. Of course, the nudie magazine and the Merkin, got to keep those. And my radio radioactive shrooms. So yeah, that's about it. God, I could spend so long just managing my characters. I seriously spent a half hour doing that. And it really wasn't boring, it was actually quite interesting. I'm just glad I don't have to do it all the time. That would get old. Oh yeah, and somebody told me that I missed a door, which I believe is this one. So let's go check that out in a second. I want to see if I have anything to give to... Uh... What do they call you exactly? It's not just Tan, is it? Oh, it's TNT Tan. Yeah. I don't think I have any shit to give him. We haven't got shit. Yep. Fun stuff for sale. Nah, I don't want to buy anything. Alright, I'll find shit one day. Let's go check out this door I forgot to explore. Yes, yeah, good good pathfinding people. Hmm. Sorry, Rangers, only authorized personnel are allowed in the brig. Can I lockpick it? I can't. Any other doors I missed? I don't think so. Okay, well... I have my party. They're rested, they've had stuff to eat. Weapons upgraded. Dumped their equipment load in the appropriate places. I think it's time to start adventuring again. Where will I go on this wide desert plain? I don't know. 
I know I need to go to one of these mystery shrines. At least one of them I have not gone to. Maybe both? I don't know if they... I don't remember if they disappear from the map when you visited them. But I know one of them has been unvisited. I still don't feel ready to go to the Darwin Village, so... Uh, I might just explore in general, or maybe I'll go to the prison. Because that's where I'm supposed to go for the main quest. Not sure. We'll see. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.